With all of the breakthroughs we've seen in the last few decades, Elon Musk and his enterprises have offered some of the most inventive methods in space exploration and on-road transportation. But it's possible that the wealthy genius is staring not only at space and Earth, but also at the realm of the clouds. The aviation industry has been the least dynamic in recent decades, but that isn't because better alternatives could be devised. Rather, the alternatives would have unrivaled consequences on either its financial or environmental sustainability. Could electricity, on the other hand, provide the answer? How does Tesla intend to proceed with one of its most ambitious projects, taking flying to new heights? Tesla's designers and engineers are clearly not content with just manufacturing automobiles. They want to push their abilities to new heights. Let's dive deep into this video and see what Elon Musk is up to now. This should not come as a surprise given Musk's history of making odd judgments that appear to be too far-fetched at first. In response to entrepreneur author Peter H. Diamandis, who had asked his fans what they wanted the Tesla and SpaceX CEO to tackle next, he revealed his ambition to enter, or rather disrupt, the aeroplane sector. When Musk originally talked about electric automobiles, many people were skeptical about their viability, owing to technological and commercial obstacles. Then Tesla came into existence. With SpaceX, he also revolutionized space exploration by developing reusable rockets. Musk stated on Joe Rogan's podcast in 2018 that he had amazing ideas for creating electric VTOLs. The polymath magnate claimed that his present workload was the only thing preventing him from developing the next generation aeroplane. The planes Musk wants aren't like regular planes. They'll soar to great heights using vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL technology, before relying on battery power to reach speeds of over 768 miles per hour. Vertical takeoff and landing eliminates the need for a runway, allowing you to just shoot up straight into the air. The battery would be the most serious issue with any electric plane. Elon Musk has mentioned this as one of the most significant obstacles to a Tesla plane on several occasions. Despite their strength, batteries can only store a certain amount of energy, unlike fuels, which can be transported and transferred in a relatively short amount of time, electricity cannot. Tesla is focusing on increasing battery capacity, and Musk claims that in a few years, they may be able to produce more efficient batteries. Musk stated that the energy density of batteries must improve in order for his idea to succeed. Musk adds that while jet fuel has a higher energy density than batteries, the efficiency advancements mean that you don't need as much energy capacity. While Jet A kerosene has a higher energy density than lithium ion, electric motors are lighter and better at converting stored energy to motion than combustion engines. When he announced his idea for an electric VTOL aircraft, Musk projected that lithium ion batteries would need to attain a 400 watt hour per kilogram energy density in order for batteries to outperform kerosene and his electric aircraft to be profitable. Battery cells with high cycles now have an energy density of around 300 watt hours per kilogram. In general, there are three significant challenges involved with supersonic electric VTOL flight. First, there is the issue of developing an electric propulsor capable of operating at supersonic speeds. Then there's the issue of constructing batteries that have both the specific energy and specific power required for supersonic crews and vertical takeoffs and landings. Finally, there's the issue of fitting everything inside a supersonic aircraft. Then there's the reality that aircraft aren't permitted to make pit brakes. Even if your Tesla car's battery is fully charged, you may need to make a stop or two on a cross-country road trip. Imagine being able to soar hundreds of feet in the air over nations on a single foot. Fortunately, some businesses are working on ways to make batteries more efficient without increasing their size, which should come as a comfort to those anticipating the Tesla plan. However, the airlines would have an issue not just with the battery capacity, but also with safety. Multiple safety devices may be installed in a plane's fuel tanks to ensure that they are not destroyed, and even if they are, Procedures can be taken to mitigate the severity of the damage. However, because the electric plane is still in its infancy, there is just insufficient research and certification to give a safety mechanism if the battery fails. It's also a lot more expensive to check for flaws in the batteries on a regular basis than it is to inspect the gasoline pipes on a standard basis. If something goes wrong during takeoff or landing, the conventional plane can dump gasoline to avoid explosive damage. However, if a battery catches fire, there is no way to get it out of the plane and far from the passengers. But Musk is willing to go to any length to solve all of the problems. 
Musk also indicated that in order to solve the challenges, he intends to combine Tesla's facilities with SpaceX's aeronautical engineers. When the battery issues are resolved, the first electric planes will just be a matter of testing and certificates. So rather than recharging the plane from the ground, charging it in mid-flight would be more feasible, right? There is, however, a solution, and it is known as solar power. Solar panels with high efficiency might potentially provide a backup power source for the Tesla plane. It would be just as efficient as a normal plane's backup fuel tank. Do you think only Tesla is dreaming of an electric jet? A big no. The EDA40 from Diamond Aircraft is the product of decades of testing and experimentation with both hybrid and pure electric systems. The Austrian company is now ready to move on with an electric version of its DA40, a single-engine trainer plane that has already received certification. The EDA40 has a simple but useful twist. It connects to DC fast charging systems, electric power systems, which develops approved devices for aerospace, defense, automotive, and marine, provides the charging equipment. The EDA40 would be the first electric plane with just this charging option that has been Part 23 certified by the FAA and Europe's Aviation Safety Regulator, EASA. That doesn't mean you can pull up to the local big box store's parking lot and plug into one of the charging stations. However, you could theoretically do so. It won't take long to locate a legal charging outlet at an airport. The final version of the EDA40, according to Diamond, will recharge in around 20 minutes and provide up to 90 minutes of flight time due to its air-cooled Safran Engineus 100 electric motor, which produces a maximum of 130 kilowatts and has an integrated controller. Seating four people is available in the EDA40, which includes adjustable seat backs and lumbar support, as well as electronically controlled rudder pedals and electric air conditioning. The G1000 NXI flight deck is used in the all-glass cockpit, and an optional GFC700 automatic flight control system is available for safety, while the all-composite airframe doubles as a roll cage in the event of an emergency. The firm boasts a long list of firsts, such as the world's first serial hybrid electric drive aircraft in 2011, a commercialized variant of a serial hybrid electric drives two years later, and the world's first hybrid electric multi-engine aircraft in 2018. The EDA40 will begin flight testing in the second quarter of 2022, following certification expected in 2024. Look for it in the skies, and don't be surprised if it appears in the parking lot of your local Walmart. Ground-based transportation electrification is arguably more essential than electric aeroplanes. According to the World Resources Institute, transportation emissions accounted for 24% of global carbon dioxide emissions in 2016, with road-based transportation accounting for 72% of those emissions.